morning, y'all. Coming to you from the front facing camera on the Galaxy S10. We're just about to get up and start our day, but let's check our battery and see where we're at. So I had the uh, always on display. It was supposed to automatically track my sleep. So let's take a look. All right, so automatically tracked my sleep. Went to bed, 149, got up 639 when I got the kids up this morning. Didn't need to press anything, didn't need to set it. It just automatically tracked it. We got four hours and 50 minutes. We got a long day ahead of us to be running on just five hours of sleep. But it is what it is. We're at 91% battery since last night. Let's see if it can last all day. All right, guys. Just an update guys, almost 3 p.m. We're at 72% since last night. I will continue to monitor, continue using the watch throughout the day, and uh, we will check back in a few hours, guys. Peace. What's up guys? Just finishing up working on this video. Just thought I'd give you guys an update been a really long day I'm super tired but still wanted to come and give you guys an update on this bad boy right here I am excited to announce that right now as it stands almost a full 24 hours later it is at 40% battery life having the always on display on now this is the 44 millimeter that might differ from the 38 millimeter but it's definitely exceeded my expectations especially with the always on display on throughout the day constantly vibrating text messages phone calls the whole nine so it's uh it's exciting to to see how far we've become, especially with the always on display on a smartwatch with the quality of the screen. One call out or one gripe that I had when using the watch throughout the day is uh, when the always on display is like, it's, it's dim. So it's not, it's, it's a waiting response basically. You have to either raise your wrist or tap on the screen in order to interact with the watch. So if it's in this state here, I can't just swipe down and get the battery meter. I've got to tap the watch and then swipe down to get to the to the battery or to access anything on the watch. It was a little frustrating trying to use the device, especially when I was, you know, have my hand resting on a desk or something to just to check the battery, I would have to still have to tap then swipe down as opposed to just swiping down and getting that interactivity but maybe it's a setting i haven't really messed around with it uh, i was pretty much busy uh all day so i will look into that i'll get back to you guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna Try it out another day. I'm gonna put it to charge now. It's at 39%, so it did very well for almost 24 hours with the always on display on at work, constantly going off, taking calls, getting text messages, the whole nine. Uh, still at 39%, almost 24 hours later. What I'm gonna do is put it to charge so I can put it on before I go to sleep so I can track my sleep again with the always on display on have it on throughout the day i do have to work tomorrow so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it off bluetooth and just use it on lte specifically and see what kind of difference that makes if any to the life of the battery throughout the day so far so good it looks great i got a lot of compliments they definitely did a fantastic job with this particular Galaxy Watch. This is Galaxy Watch Active 2. It's available now, available in Bluetooth and LTE. 
So I'm excited, man. One more day. LTE. Let's see how that goes. Good morning, y'all. I don't want to get out of bed. But it's day two. I had to watch, check my sleep. So let's check out where the battery level's at right now. Then we're going to get up and uh, start our day. All right. Start of day two. On all night. Always on display, tracking my sleep. We're dead back down to 86%. I'm going to take it off Bluetooth today just so we can compare. And there it is. Once again, track my sleep automatically. All I needed to do was fall asleep. I need to get some more sleep, guys. But, all right, let's get up. Let's start our day. All right, guys. One o'clock update, a little late, one time update. Checking to see I've got the device on LTE. It's the little uh, watch insignia there up at the top. And it is 1 p.m. We are down to 68%. The watch has been on since last night before I went to bed. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, I think it was. Um, but. 1 p.m. next day, 68% on LTE. So still looking good with the battery life, but we will get the update towards the end of the day once I get back home and check it. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. What's up, guys? Just a quick update. Just getting out of work. It is 5.17 p.m. We are at 48% battery life. And I think around this time yesterday, without the LTE, we were at 60%. So the LTE does take a bigger toll. At least that's what it looks like. I won't know till the end of the day. It's still early. You know? But we've got... 48, 47% battery uh, using it on LTE. But what I wanted to do is make a quick phone call and test the sound quality of the of the watch on a call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Lou from Lou Squared, the other half of Lou Squared. And we'll see. Yes, sir. Hold on, Lou. Que la vaina? Sorry. That's the Spanish. That's the Spanish. Lou, I got you. I'm recording a video. Just checking in with the watch. But I wanted to make a call to test the uh, audio quality on the watch. For the right. for our peoples, uh, real quick, say hi. What's going on, everybody? This is the other Lou, aka Ro Ro Rosario, whatever you want to call me. Ro Ro. Hope you enjoy the audio quality <laughs> of this uh, watch. Yeah, I'm it's taking really them on, taking them on the two day journey. So testing the Bluetooth yesterday, now I'm testing it on LTE today to see what the the battery life is uh, comparing the two. But um, on your end, how how do I sound? Compared to Honestly, you sound like you're you're calling me from a phone. Okay, so, so it sounds just like great, I'm on the phone. Really, really great audio quality. Nice, nice. So I'll talk about man, Samsung, you know, doing big things out here. So it sounds like I'm on the phone. It doesn't sound like I'm on a, a different device. Correct. Yeah, it sounds like you're on the phone. So it sounds really great, honestly. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Uh. What you doing later? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm just eating some rice and beans. I so hear that. With some pork chops? <laughs> no pork chops. Not no, today. No pork chops. We're giving, we're giving that Spanish a little break. Yeah, like yeah. Going on, right. you know, eat something. Got eat something. it. The keto kicking in. Got you. Got you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. <laughs> and it was a few pounds for the next video. 
All right, Lou. Uh, I'm uh, I'm heading home, so I'll give you. I'll hit you up later. For sure. Thank you, sir. Family over and out. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> take your family over and out so he couldn't tell that I was on the watch he thought initially that I was on the phone which is good so the mic quality on the opposite end or on the receiving end of your calls are gonna be are gonna be top-notch but um, anyways I gotta get out of here I got a long drive ahead of me um, we will touch base a little later today um, you know I'll bring you the recap uh, at the end of the day, we'll see where the battery's at. Still on LTE, and then I'll go ahead and um, you know give you a, a, a quick overview of my thoughts on the watch, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. There's not too much I don't like about it, but quality's good. Battery life is really good, even though it's been on since last night before I went to bed on LTE. So we'll see what it ends up at, at the end of the day. Uh, but until then, you know, hang tight because we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm coming up to the end of my day. This is day two with the Galaxy Watch Active 2. It's been, again, almost 24 hours since I last charged the watch. Yesterday I was running it on Bluetooth. Today I was running it off of Bluetooth with the LTE connection, seeing if there's a difference in battery life. So I am going to check it now, and we are at 26%. So I believe yesterday, around the time where I was calling it a day, it was at about in the high 30s if I'm not mistaken so the LTE does take a larger toll on the battery life as compared to it being connected via Bluetooth to your phone but it still has been almost 24 hours and it's still running on 26% at the end of the day and it's been a busy been a busy last two days so overall I'm very happy with the battery performance on the 44 millimeter active to could be a little bit different on the 40 millimeter you guys would have to check that out on your own always on display on since I've gotten it it is an option that you have to turn on uh, along with the touch bezel they're not automatically turned on out of the box but I've had it on kept it on since I fell asleep two nights ago it tracked my sleep this morning as well automatically so it's got some really nice features I like that I don't have to I don't have to think about some of the stuff that I wanted to do it's just gonna do it automatically I like the size of the watch itself and the design without the bezel but still giving you the touch bezel option and with the haptic feedback, I must say, it does feel like you're still turning a bezel. It's very easy to discern when to stop with the haptic feedback, which is, which is awesome. So overall, I'm very happy with the Galaxy Watch Active 2. I thought the design of some of the older ones were uh, a little lacking. And then when they came out with the original uh, Galaxy Watch Active. The fact that it didn't have the LTE version was a downside for me. That's why I didn't pick it up. So I'm very happy that they added it with the Active 2. Very happy that they added the additional size with the Active 2. And overall, guys, uh, I'm extremely happy. It's definitely worth uh, looking into. It does work with all Android or most Android devices, not all of them. Um, but most doesn't necessarily have to be a Samsung also works with Apple devices So if you're looking for something for your Apple device aside from the Apple watch, even though that's probably not uh, Too likely it is an option if you are looking for a different option, but That's about gonna wrap it up for my day and wrap it up for this video I just finished wrapping up working on one of our bigger projects 
something different, something new. If you haven't checked that out, I'll have it linked up above for you to, to do so. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. This is something that we like to do. It's a passion that we have. We enjoy it very much. We love tech very much. We love how it brings us and our families together. So if that's something that you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Spread the word. Tell your friends. We appreciate you guys tuning in. And until next time, Techie family, over and out. Like this is sexy. There's no, there's no arguing. This is like, this is like chicken with big mac and cheese after a long day of work. This is like, this is like apple fritters with some hot apple cider on the side on a cool fall day when you're, when you're wearing your Tim's and a hoodie at the farm after you pick some pumpkins because because that's what fall is all about right yeah it's like it's like the stuffing on the side of the plate on thanksgiving when you drizzle that gravy over the turkey but with some rice and pigeon peas out of congandule if you spanish holla if you feel me you know what i'm talking about you know what I'm talking about? Some white rice with some pateles during the holiday season. Some pumpkin cheesecake that your aunt makes and brings over. And it's delicious. And, and you love it because it's so good. That, that coquito during Christmas time with some ice in it. With not the cheap vodka, but the good vodka that you can't really taste, but it's there because you're getting drunk off of. D Galaxy Watch Active 2. Connect the dots. You guys, you guys see the correlation. Right? Or am, am, am I going crazy?